Hello and welcome. I'm Elipiri. I'm from the lecturer at OBT the College. I'm going to do a short lesson recording uh, the if statement on spreadsheet. Welcome to my spreadsheet tutorial. I'm going to do the basic uh, if statement on spreadsheets. Uh, I'm going to try to use some of the questions that you may find on your question papers. Uh, if you check, uh, it is not exactly how it's going to come around, but it might sound something like this. Complete the spreadsheet below using applicable formulas. Insert rows, insert the row between row A1 and A2. Uh, year mark, use the learner's average of test 1 to test 2 to calculate the year mark results if the learner is aver if the learner's average is greater than or equal to 40 then it's a pass otherwise a fail now you have to for you to know that it's an if statement you will realize that uh, you will see with the following it uses the word if and then you also highlight you must also highlight the, the following average is as words that this, these are that the keywords that shows you what formulas you're going to apply on your spreadsheet and it's going to give you additional things like equal and then they give you a number or particular item it, and then they tell you if it doesn't happen what must happen so you have to underline the keyword they use an, another if there on that statement and they use equal and they give you a number and they tell you what to put if the answer is not correct or it's false you, what you must use now your spreadsheet you might get something like this you might get something like this on your spreadsheet uh, this one is a basic spreadsheet with a simple table of uh, class results and you are supposed to complete it so you can apply the formulas whether it's a big spreadsheet or a small spreadsheet now let us continue um, if you find a question like this and you are about to complete your spreadsheet you must convert the, 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 to insert rows and columns, these are the basics of uh, you. How if you, if you know spreadsheets, you those are the basics. Now, you, you should be able to convert words into statistical formulas. Uh, for example, uh, for example, if they use the word equal sign, you must put the sign equal sign. If they use the word greater you must use the sign greater than you must put it on your write it on your question paper now you've got two signs they say if the average if the learner's average is greater than or equals to 40 then it means there must be a 40 also there or you'll take you must just highlight it because it's going to be part of the formula then so this becomes your your first state instruction they say if the average of the length now you must also know where the average is at if you go back to your spreadsheet you realize that your your average is actually your was calculated on the year mark because you used the year mark column to calculate the average which means which means the average becomes the, the column at which the column at which year mark is at which is e if you look correctly it is e3 it's e3 now if it's e3 you have to write here e3 so it's e3 so it's if if e3 is greater than or equals to 40 then it's a pass so it's statement number one after this comma here is statement number two after this comma here is statement number three So we've got the first statement that says if e3 is greater than or equals to 40 then it says comma which means it gives us statement number two of which what must happen then it's a pass otherwise it's a fail so it's got statement number three and now when you go back to your spreadsheet 
and go back to your spreadsheet you will apply those formulas here at the moment you're analyzing your question paper so now let us go uh, column by column what did they say about the year mark what did they say about the year mark they said the year mark the year mark use the learner's average of test one to test three to calculate the year mark so we said it is clear that average is a formula for this one so let us quickly do that one we're gonna quickly do that one now we are told that the year mark is the average now when you do average you always start with when you calculate on excel you always calculate start with the equal sign say so equal sign then you're looking for what average you type a range after you type it you do the open bracket after you do the open bracket then you select from test one of peter jones you click hold and you drag until test three of peter jones you release your mouse then you do close bracket and you press enter now it's going to give you peter jones's average remember once you got the formula for the first student you do not need to calculate for the other student individually you can apply what we call a fill down function fill down function uh, uh, copies the formula that is applicable here and it copies it across to other columns as long as there is no instruction that tells you that other students got different formula so we're going to apply if you apply the fill down function you can just simply highlight which is the, the most common one and then you're going to go to your fill down function you're going to see fill then you click on down you'll realize that it's going to automatically calculate i'm going to undo this so that i stretch my my area and you can see what happens you go to fill and then say down then it's going to automatically fill the, the 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 answers with the same formulas so going back to our our spreadsheet now our spreadsheet now we need the we've got the year mark for the student now the result the result just mean did the student pass or fail and then for us to know if the student have passed or failed what happened we use the fill down we use the if we, we use the if statement we're going to use the if statement and they said for the year mark for the result we used we, we did the year mark we are done with it we got the answers now we're looking for we're looking for the student results yeah with the result and we're going to apply the if function so we're going to go to our spreadsheet and apply the if on the result we are told that uh, we're going to apply the formula that we just figured here that if e3 is greater than or equals to 40 then the student pass otherwise if otherwise the student fail so let us go back we are at peter jones and we're looking for what now in this case uh, in this case we are going to apply if functions you're going to find them on your formulas your formulas are here and then the if falls under the logical formulas you've got n false if you've got a couple of them so you're going to see before you select you must firstly put the equal sign in the cell that you're going to use to put the answers on equal sign and then we go to our logical say if and then we're going to capture the statement that we just this statement here we're going to capture it you see it's i said it's one it's one it's statement number two and statement number three so we have to put that in there and they said if year mark which is year mark we said it's e3 you can see there e3 there's our year mark if e3 it's gonna if you click on it it's gonna automatically appear on our function arguments 
and then the first sign that you're gonna put is greater than always put greater than first do not put the okay our tutorial will continue uh, we have to do uh, the we have to answer the last column okay we did the, the results uh, if you can see our spreadsheet uh, we, we did the, 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 the year mark now we have to do the uh, you didn't see how the results were calculated so we're gonna do the results okay then going back to the instruction the instruction says the result if the latest average is greater than or equals to 40 then it's a pass otherwise they fail so we go to our spreadsheet and we apply the formulas we're gonna apply the formulas we're gonna go to results so we are told that we always start with equal sign and then we said we have to go to our formulas and our formula and our formulas we use what the logical and the logical we got if and, uh, and then under this if we're looking for what we are told that if the average the average which is e if you can check here our average is e3 so we select e3 and we said if e3 is greater than you always start with greater than do not start with equal sign always start with greater than or less than so the the, the equal sign is always second it's greater than or equals to and then we type the number 40 because we're giving a 40 and then that's statement number one statement number two they said the student pass if it's true and then otherwise the student fail if it is false then you press equal sign then it shows you that uh, peter jones has passed and then we apply the function of ours that we call you know the, the convenient one the fill down the fill down function you always find it under under home and then you go to you have to highlight the area first then you go to fill then say down then it's going to tell you if the student has passed or failed so that is that was answering a uh, uh, column number two of results now quickly going to distinctions what are they saying about distinctions they also use the if to calculate distinctions now they're saying if the land achieves above above for above you can also use the the, the, the we can also use the greater than sign uh here uh, let me select a pen above and greater can be the same and equal remains equal sign and got 75. so if the learners got above or equal to 75 then it's a one the one means there's a, 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 a distinction or otherwise a zero it means there's no distinction there so we're gonna go to go back to uh, our 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 spreadsheet and then we're gonna calculate our distinction we're gonna start with peter jones we're gonna say equal sign and then remember we're also using the year mark or the average color so we're saying it and we're also going to use the if formulas so i'm going to put my area like that so it's say equal sign then you say formulas and logical and say if this average is greater than or equals to 75 you have to can type it in then the answer should be one otherwise the answer should be zero then you say then you say okay then you apply the fill down again and it's going to tell you which student got distinctions and which ones don't then you can see mabulani and booty got distinctions thank you hope you enjoyed the tutorial please click like if you like this video or send us a comment so that we can know what are the topics that we are interested in thank you